I've got this piece of cherry, it's got some really nice coloration in it. It's about 19% moisture, so I think I'm going to rough turn this and uh, microwave it. Keep an eye on the weight and see if it loses weight and then uh, see how it goes. I think I'm going to finish it though because it seems fairly dry. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I want to show you this piece before it cracks. Now this is a piece of cherry and I've applied, I've cut it to a basic form with a tenon on the back and I've given it a quick coat of shellac. I'm hoping that that will stiffen it up so that I can get a nice clean cut because there's some punkiness here on the end grain here and here. So I'm hoping that this will stiffen it up and I can get a better clean cut but uh, I need to allow it to dry now. I'm just concerned that it's going to crack. I almost know it's going to. It was 19% humidity, moisture. So, I think what I might do is, it's almost dry. I might put a bag over it to keep any moisture in that's there. And then, maybe come back to it tomorrow but I do love that color that's in there I just hope I can get a clean cut and I hope it doesn't crack I got, I'm pretty sure it's gonna crack on me we'll see tomorrow okay so I started turning this bowl a couple of days ago it is a piece of cherry that was uh, pretty wet and it's got some spalting in it and it's very punky so I've nuked it uh, it's got some check marks in it which I've put some CA super glue in it and I've put wood hardener in, in here to uh, stiffen up the grain and now what I intend to do is to power sand it to get a nice finish and uh, I'm going to go down to 1600 grit and polish it, reverse chuck it, remove the tenon and hopefully I can get something worthwhile out of it. Now it's got a chunk out missing right here because it was particularly punky right here so I may end up taking a little bit more out here around the rim. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I've got this bowl sanded down to uh, 220 grit and I've applied some um, mineral oil to it and I applied some thin CA to a couple of punky areas uh, just to try and harden them up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand at 320 grit and I've got a, a mix of beeswax and tongue oil here 
which I'm going to apply as I sand and hopefully that penetrates and uh, we'll see how this we'll see how this makes a difference. interesting bowl very punky so I'm going to be calling this one cherry punk um, it's got some beautiful spalting in it very nice figure in this cherry I'll show you the back side what I'm going to do now is reverse chuck it in my coal jaws and turn off the tenon and finish the bowl okay so this is gives you an idea of the profile now there was a crack here that I filled with CA and there's a couple of check marks around here which are also CA filled but I'm pretty happy with it so far I didn't think I was going to be able to save it because it was so punky okay so I'm going to get this thing reverse chucked and uh, we'll turn off the tenon and finish the bottom side and this bowl will be done Okay, so I've got the bowl in my coal jaws. Now, the bowl is not perfectly round. It, at its widest, it is seven three quarter inches, and it varies to seven and a half inches. So there's a quarter inch difference in the side walls. Uh, that's because it was wet and it's warped. And well, I guess I didn't turn the warp out. It's uh, it continued to warp as I was working on it. Um, so I actually took one of these pegs out so the bowl would fit into the coal jaws. Now I've clamped it down, it seems pretty secure in there. What I'm going to do now is turn off the tenon and finish the bottom side and this bowl will be done. Okay, so this bowl's complete. I'm calling it Cherry Punk. It was quite the punk. Um, it's warped a little bit, it checked. I filled it with CA glue and I used my cold drawers for the first time. It was a lot of fun. It started out with a very distinctive A in the middle. I'll put some photos right here. This is what it looked like earlier in the stage. There's a couple of photos here that you can look at. 
Um, it's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I do love cherry, but you never know what you're going to get when you run into punky wood. There's a section here that was very soft. I added some thin CA glue to that. I'm satisfied with it. I hope you like this project. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate that. Cheers now.